finally raining again, so we're back out working on this. For some reason I only find motivation when it's pissing it down to actually do anything on the car. Little blanky. Um, right, so since last time, I've got the rear coilovers in, the with the uh, Mossic cantilever system kind of set up. Just need to finalise the push rods. They still need sorting out. I've got uh, what's it rear. Um, now. Uh, tail arms, got tail arms on the back now. So that's good. Keep turning it the wrong way. So the rear tail arms are on. Rear suspension's kind of set up. But obviously I can't finalise anything until we've got the tyres. Tyres, but you can tell it's Sunday morning. Get the tyres on. Get the ride hatch set, make the push rods. Just got the floor welded up on the passenger side. So that is now matching with the dry side done a bit earlier. So you can tell it's a mess in here. But yeah, we're getting somewhere. Floor's gone in. Still got all this floor in there to do. This is all just going to be transmission tunnel from there across. So I don't need to worry too much about that. Um, Give me no flooring back there. But all this area is just going to be left open. Bulkhead's going to start on these points here. I've just put in. Yeah, pass shuffle all the way up to the back. I thought I'd show you quickly how how we do. Uh, yeah, so this is the current setup. That's how we uh, how I work. So we got little makeshift tent. Got the welder stowed underneath that in the top. Oh yeah, put the front suspension on. That was going to be cantilever, but it just didn't make sense to because you just didn't have the space in the front. So, here's what it is. Both floors pans in now. Need to do under the driver's seat and passenger seat. And obviously the centre is going to be the tunnel. Next thing to do is going to be to get that cut out so this trim piece can be permanently welded on. Now weld on there. You see all this needs cleaning up. Need to put a little brace on there just to hold that in position. Get the pass job bracing started. Little brackets that I've had cut out. Cantilevers all sitting back there. It's not welded up properly yet, but it's just in place. But yeah, a couple of bits to sort out. We've got the arms partly welded. Yeah. Just... Oh, I need to change all the spring rates. Obviously, that's how it sits. The push rods, they still need finishing, they're not done. Um, obviously, still need to find a bolt for the um, lower arm bar, looks a bit. I don't know how I managed to miss that. But yeah. Cut a lot of this stuff out now. Just clearing space, trying to get that back to fresh metal. We're putting this on this trim piece. That is now going to be permanently welded on. Like that. I should give us something to align the um, boot up with. Balance 
cover. Ah, not bad, it's the same as Pass Chef. Right, so the thing's not actually sound, it's in suspension. Uh, you can see, I don't even need to go up the spring rate. But yeah, it's rolling, so, well, it would be if I had wheels. The rear window. window sits in like that. It's just a little bit proud from what it used to. Got the floor in on that side. The floor's already been in this side. Just a bit bigger now. In the rear, got a little plush shove for the piece in. Yeah. Slowly getting there. The, the these bits over here, I want to um, cut the hole out to make it one smooth panel. And that's the cleanest way to get around that. 